Science University to enlighten your inquisitive mind. What are nanoparticles? You will find the answer for that in next few minutes. Simply, nanoparticles are extremely small particles. If you compare the diameter of a nanoparticle to the diameter of a soccer ball, it is like comparing the diameter of the soccer ball to the diameter of the earth. According to the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, a particle of any shape with a dimension in the range of 1 nanometer to 100 nanometers can be identified as a nanoparticle. So, do you know how small they are? Well, you cannot see nanoparticles from your naked eye. More than 500,000 nanoparticles can sit on a cross-section of a human hair. So, why are nanoparticles important? Because they show very different physical and chemical properties such as optical, electrical, mechanical, magnetic and catalytic properties compared to their bulk counterparts. For example, we can see gold coins in gold color but gold nanoparticles have different colors. The color of any material depends on how the material interacts with the incoming light. When the light interacts with bulk materials, the amount of reflected, scattered, absorbed and transmitted light decide the color we see and it's unique for the material itself. For example, if you have several gold coins and bars with different sizes, all of them will be gold in color. Similarly, if you have several silver coins and bars with different sizes, all of them will be silver in color. However, when light interacts with nanoparticles, the amount of reflected, scattered, absorbed and transmitted light not only depend on the material but also on the size, shape and the surrounding medium of the nanoparticles. That's why different gold nanoparticles have different colors. But remember, we only see these colors for the nanoparticles that interact with the visible range of the electromagnetic spectrum. The differences in melting points is another example. Melting point of the bulk material doesn't depend on the size of the particles. However, at nanoscale, melting point depends on the size of the nanoparticles. The smaller the nanoparticle, the lower the melting point. This phenomena is known as melting point depression. So, now you know that size and shape matter at nanoscale. Different sizes and shapes of nanoparticles of the same material show different physical and chemical properties. Due to these different properties, nanoparticles are used in almost all fields of science. They also have a wide variety of applications in industries such as textiles, pharmaceutical, cosmetics, electronics and even food. You currently benefit from different types of nanoparticles and in the future you will benefit from them more and more. You might already have several products made with nanoparticles at home. Usage of nanoparticles increased drastically during the last few decades due to cutting edge scientific research carried out across the world. It will further increase in a higher rate in the future. But don't forget, few centuries ago, artists used different types of metal nanoparticles to decorate glass windows of European cathedrals in different colors with or without knowing the properties of nanoparticles. Thank you for watching this video. If you like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Our next video will explain why salt is used to melt ice on snowy days.